Hi, I'm Felix Kunz. I wanted to take a little bit of time and make a couple of videos that show what I take in my traveling camera bags. I take, usually I take four bags, sometimes five, and I have lots of experience with traveling and I've come up with so many little things that make my life a little bit easier and kind of I want to walk you through each little item and my thought processes. I've got the Think Tank International, I think it's called the International Traveler 2.0. It's rated for all international and um, domestic airlines because some have different weight, uh, size restrictions and overhead luggage. By the way, I'm wearing my AirPod so I can record the audio because I don't have a lapel mic. So it's not for fashion's sake. So I've got this camera bag and I, I've had it for about four years. I bought it from Think Tank and it's been my favorite rolling case so far. So obviously I have my D810, soon to be a D850. I always travel with my body and my go-to lens, which is the 2470, um, and it's a Nikon. So that's the first thing in there. I have my Sekonic light meter. Let me see which model number it is. The L358. I don't use a light meter that often, but it does help me figure out when I don't know quite why a light is doing what it does, or I can get meter readings for to assist uh, to communicate to my assistants what the lighting is that I want to get and the strength of it. Then I have my um, black rapid strap, which has a pocket with my SD cards and CF cards. These are soon to be um, no longer when I upgrade to the D850. And I have a SD card reader that I got from Apple for the iPhone, which is really great when you're in the field and you're trying to get an idea of what you've shot so far. So that's all in here. And um, Black Rapper doesn't make these anymore with the pockets, unfortunately. And I've been asking him to do that, but you know, maybe one day they'll come back. Um, lens cleaning cloth goes in here as well. And that's super nice because I like to sling my camera over my shoulder and then I just have those kind of things right there. That just, um, you know, it ties the screws into the bottom of the D810. Then obviously I've got my raft of Nikon batteries and the Nikon charger. Um, the nice thing about the Nikon charger, especially for traveling, is it has, let me get this off. The little adapter here, if you see that, this is great for, there's a bunch of things I have, uh, batteries in my packs, etc., that use this adapter. And I'll show you guys that later when I unpack the other bag, but I can use this in a pinch with the other you know, devices that I have. So but I'll show you that in the other video. Um, this is a uh, you know, rocket blower for air. Then I have the, um, the another lens cleaning cloth here. I also have this Lumu light meter, which I, Lumu power it's called, which is an iPhone light meter and also does um, color white balance readings which is super useful and this used to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to have a device that does this so that's really great then i have ugh, various sizes of nd filters and polarizing filters most of them are for the uh, 7200 so that's super useful and i use them rarely but you know when you don't have them you really need them um let's see then this is a thing that people will ask me about i carry a box of images that are a lot on my work and that's also posing um, inspiration from other people and I'll use those as reference because when you're on a shoot you can just say right I want you to do this pose or let's get you inspired by this pose and it's also great for you know that moment on a shoot when you're like oh, I can't think of what to do next uh, you just use these inspiration images and I have so many inspiration images in here I printed off some of Sue Bryce's men's posing for example and I just use those and um, that's something I really depend on a lot. So I always take uh, my inspiration box with me. I print them on four by six. I have a little printer at my office. Good. Then, let's see, I carry my 50 millimeter um, prime lens, goes down to 1.4. It's really great when I wanna just um, shoot in low light. And I have a 35 mil 2.0 lens that I go with and an 85 mil 1.4 as well from Nikon. So that's my lenses that I travel with. I don't have, actually don't own a 70 to 200.
because it's so heavy for traveling and I hardly ever need it. The other thing I have, my Hoodman, which is great for when you're shooting in broad daylight and you can't see the back of the camera because you know your screen isn't bright enough to overpower the sun. So you can just use this to kind of cut out that light. And when you can't tether, then you just put this over the back of your screen and it makes it so that you can actually see the screen and see it in a way that's true to what the actual images are. So that's uh, this Hoodman thing. And it's really great, one of the best things I ever bought. Then I have a travel scale. If you travel a lot, this is great for not exceeding airport baggage, uh, airline baggage restrictions. Then I still travel with, and I get asked about this all the time, a speed light. I got this about, I got this years ago and I still use it all the time. And the way I use it is I have a little, I can find it in here. I use my Ellen Chrome um, triggers, which I'll show you in a second. And they make these receivers. They're part of the EL Skyport range. And I can mount, this will mount onto a hot shoe mount or onto a, um, a tripod or a, a, any regular light stand. And I can attach this here and trigger it using my regular Ellen Chrome triggers of which I always carry three and I'll tell you why. And this is great for, um, you know, I use the speed light in a pinch and that's why so I carry so many batteries, but people always ask me and I'm surprised that I still carry and use a speed light. But because I have this trigger receiver, let me see if I have the model number on here. It's a ELSP-R by Ellen Chrome. So if you can find it, from that, go ahead. In my little Ellen Chrome kit bag, I have my triggers. I use these EL Skyport speeds. And the great thing about these is they're the simplest thing. I don't need some fancy thing that scans the room and checks everything. I just want something that tells the flash to fire and that's it. I have three. One goes onto my camera. One goes onto um, my, where's the behind the scenes camera is in my, uh, my laptop bag, which I'll show you. And one is for spare if one of them runs out. So I use these guys and they will fire, they will trigger this light. So that's great for shooting with a speed light in a pinch. So the boring stuff, got a bunch of hard drives and I actually use, I've got, let's see, a traveling drive. This is a two terabyte laptop platter and I use a, um, mount let's see an adapter so this is USB-C to whatever you got you plug in straight into the hard drive and I use these platters because they're super cheap they're super easy to carry around and I can just connect this straight into the laptop it's great for traveling and I put them in an anti-static case super easy and then I have a backup of that so when I'm on set on location I sync these two so that's two terabytes each and I have a drive just for kind of other stuff that aren't shoot related things on here. And then I have the adapter for the one drive and the adapter for the other drive. And that's pretty much what I have here. In the lid, I keep, obviously because I'm shooting with a speed light, a bag of batteries, very fancy. I have um, various cables and adapters and I get these little USB 2 to US, uh, USB B, I think to USB-C adapters. I have a bunch of those because I'm going through the adapter hell with the new MacBook, which you'll see in the laptop bag video. I've got a lens cleaning kit, very beautiful, in a plastic case. And let's see what else is hidden in here. I have a pocket with my business cards. I won't show you guys my phone number, <laughs> but I have plenty of those because you never know when you need them. There's one other thing I want to show you from experience is, one other thing I want to show you is from experience I have in here, one of the things that's really helped me in the past is I've printed my airline's baggage policies. So when you get to the airport, I've actually missed a flight because something that was stated in here was not being honored by the rep and I didn't have time to argue it because I didn't have this to hand, I didn't have internet. I also have a printout that tells me 
I sometimes get media rates from airlines. That's a whole other subject, but I got a printout from um, the airline rep that gives the rules of media rate bags. And that's really helped me in the past for when you turn up at an airport at the last minute and you don't want to start having a conversation about some, what someone thinks their baggage policy is, is you just have it right there. So that's the inside of my camera bag. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the laptop bag next in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe. It does help me make more of these videos. I like kind of breaking down my process and showing other photographers how I'm doing things. Feel free to comment. I love hearing what you guys think, any questions you have or anything I could answer and explain more. If you go out and use some of these tips, please do let me know. I love hearing that kind of thing. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.